Alright, we still gotta poke holes into this lady's testimony. I'm going to use a long pole with a sharp pointy end. I forget what I was doing. What was I doing? Oh yeah, he looked out the window and then- Ooh! Ooh! The woman with long hair. That was Mia Faye? Obviously Phoenix. Uh-huh. Slender, sort of. Well, some might be people say pretty if that's your thing. Your thing? And the person attacking her? The one attacking her was the moosey girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Hold it. Preston, how do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, you know, sh she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? There was only one person that's seen the crime with a short, girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. He's right. I question this testimony. Hold on. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. Well, what? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that you saw... Well... Aren't they both the same thing? I'm confused. She is lying, though. I'm willing to bet that... I don't know. I'm probably going to get in trouble for this. I don't remember. Crud. Uh, I think you saw nothing. Did you really see the defendant at all? Uh, huh, what was with that face, Miss Freaky Lady? Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me, because I'm clueless about this, I mean... Okay, if you really witnessed my client, my affair, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Ah, yep, there we go. Oop. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. She's a freak. <laughs> and I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. Look at that, that's just weird. Uh, uh what, Mia? Maya? Oh, I'm sorry. That, just forget it, it's good. I didn't mean it. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. Testimony is bogus. But, but. Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way that night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Rawr! What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I, I saw what I saw. I, I just didn't think all that trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May. The court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. Ah. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. Wink. Ah. Stop it, you stupid lady. Your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. Alright, come on. I count again because we have the most lenient judge in the world. I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her, and she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That that clock, um, that kind of statuey clock? The thinker, I think. Well, does the accuracy of my report not startle you, T? How'd you know it's a clock? I have a question. Please begin the cross-examination. Yeah, I got it. Because it's going to be easy. Oh, I want to check something first. I'm gonna check the floor pans for a second, because I know we have to. No, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her, and she hit her with that weapon. I saw it, I did. That that clock, um, that kind of statuey clock? Let's press this. Uh, clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, well don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something now. Alright, let's present the clock then. Hold on one minute. Miss May, I have a question for you. What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, naughty Mr. Lawyer? You just said that the statue of the thinker was a clock. I can't decide on what volume I want right now, but there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty. 
of murder. Alright. Oh yeah. Let's take him down. Take her down. Her. Obviously. Her. We assume. Order! Order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? <clears throat> Ooh! Er oh, shut up, Edgy. No one just saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all the importance here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. Objection! I refuse, but questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, only once. I only had one other case. This is my second case, you know. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Phew, that was close. Ah, I have a piece of paper stuck to my foot. Oh no. Okay, it's gone. If you stop me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? <laughs> what? That's... Because I heard it? Yeah, I heard it. You heard it say the time. So, you've been to the office of Fan Company. N no, hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard from my hotel room. Hee <laughs> hee. The law office is a fan co. The murder took place, or very close to the hotel. She could easily have heard the clock. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? Not at all, Your Honor, because there's still something a bit bugging me. I'm not satisfied because... Let's see, she couldn't have heard it, or it couldn't have rung. Ever get again? I'm so stupid. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, that's right. I'm stupid. It couldn't have rung. Not at all. Your Honor, members of the court, it is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. It's empty. That clock is missing its clockwork. How could you possibly... Just have a look, as soon as you can. Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Oh yeah, I love you. That's right, I know what I'm talking about. Take you down, then. Is that a... Hold up. I'm looking at my desk, I have a bunch of change, and apparently I have a Canadian penny. Huh. Elizabeth II. And then something else that I can't read. But yeah, Canadian penny. Cool. Okay, Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Oh, wait, wait, wait. She's twitching. Twitch. 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 Twitchy twitch. Okay. The fat! <laughs> That's the only part she reacts to. The fat part. Well, Miss May? Oh, shake your finger. Tsk, tsk. <sighs> you get that finger out of your face. Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew. A jerk. I'm afraid you forgot one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. It's a good thing I got some proof. Some very easy proof that you overlooked, Mr. Edgeworth, you little loser. Clock might have been. No, it wasn't. That is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright? That's not how the judge sounds. Can you prove when the clockwork was removed, Mr. Wright? Mr. Wright? Because I'm right. That's why my name's Mr. Wright, because I'm right. Oh, impossible, of course. I have proof. Wh what? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockworks were removed is... This recorded conversation on my cell phone, of course. Take a look at this. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. <laughs> oh ho, you have a girly phone. Whoa, wait, wait, whoa, 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 this is not my phone, lady. This is Maya's phone, not mine. Mine is all blue and manly. It's got muscly arms coming out of the head. And they're like, raw. That's how manly my phone is. It's not like this. This is it's weird. 
Listen, this is a defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order. The defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention. Ha uh ha. -huh. And that his, that's his stunned in shock position. Professor, perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it? <laughs> the good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. Oh, my heart goes out to you, Edgeworth. Not. Loser. Let's hear the conversation. Because we haven't heard it already, so you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you. We've heard this. If you could... I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. That's <laughs> not working that today. You take the clockwork out. You take it to put evidence, and then that's pretty cool, because then this stuff happens. Your Honor, I think this recording makes it clear that clockwork is already gone. And this was recorded in the morning, before the witness even arrived at her hotel. <clears throat> well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know this, the we that weapon was a clock? Now for the next stupid thing she says. Well, well, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? I, I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. Wink. Stop winking at me. Freak me out. So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. If anyone else winked at me, it would be great, but you, you creep me out. Does the defense have any objections? Yes, I do have objections. The witness claims she had seen it before. This directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. The clock itself, of course. It's simple. This clock was never in any store. Ever! But what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. I impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Why is there a question mark there? Mo oh, excuse is not on sale today? Oh, 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 ah. Time for her freak out. Ah. She goes Super Saiyan! Now she goes completely and utterly evil looking and zombie ish, actually, just like the last guy. There's something going on here. What's it to you, Porcupine Head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die! Pride, lady. Calm down. Whoa, whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. <laughs> oh, 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 this is silly me. Did I, um, like, lose it? Guess I did, teehee. <laughs> Wink. This is scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know that weapon was a clock? Seriously, that face just creeps me out. Something's going on here. This is two zombies. In two cases. So something really weird's going on. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... You held it. Because we're going to blame you for murder, just like everyone else. Miss May held that very clock in her hands. Mr. Wright, when was this? When she used it to strike the victim, when else? Order, order. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? April May, you killed me a fay, I say. Whoa, that rhymes. That's awesome, Phoenix. You're so cool and poetic. And when you struck the force of the impact, made that think. Oh, you're an idiot. I'm an idiot. Actually, I'm a real idiot. Just. <laughs> You truly are a work of art. Yeah, I know, I made a stupid mistake, but it's good. We couldn't have gotten this either way. Because we just said, yeah, it was you who just proved that the thinker was empty. <laughs> oh, of course it wouldn't ring. What's more, the witness has a rock-solid alibi. Miss May? Yeah. Perhaps you could explain to the poor, misguided Mr. Wright. You were in the hotel at the time of the murder. Sh she can't prove it. She did it. It would be my pleasure. Yeah, either way. Either way, Edgeworth would go, uh, you got a rock solid outfit. I was just being stupid right there. No way. Yes way, Mr. Lawyer. Tee <laughs> hee. 
Tee? Didn't the murder take place at nine at night? Gee, that's the exact time I ordered some room service from the Hotel Bellboy. How convenient! Incidentally, the Bellboy corroborates the witness's story. Ergo, she was not at the crime scene. Rock solid! Mr. Wright, you've just made a serious accusation to a perfectly insolent. S sorry, Your Honor. Th that didn't go so well. But if that's the case, then how did she know the thinker was a clock? Wait, Your Honor, I figured it out. There's one other way Miss April May could have known it was a clock. The way I could have picked it in the first place. Oh well, one way alone, and I have proof. Well, proof, you say? Then the court will examine your proof, Mr. Wright. How did the witness know the thinker was a clock? This little baby right here. Have a look at this. Ah! Oh, did that! <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Because I'm a creepy guy who likes breaking into hotel rooms. And I steal people's stuff, too. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is, and no one cares. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss May of May's phone, were you not? Ooh, 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 ooh. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. The trouble is that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that witness was tapping your phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Yes. Can you prove that? I think not. I already did, you loser. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's quite simple. What? What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is me and my that stupid cell phone recording, of course. I present the defendant's cell phone. Again, which is not mine, because it's not manly enough. Listen once more to the conversation between Oh, we gotta listen to this stupid thing again. Me was uh you haven't called in a while. Actually there's something you want you to hold on for me again. What's it this time? It's my Heart. I ripped out someone's heart and you gotta hold it for me. It's a murderer. It's a clock. It's made to look like the statue of the thinker. It tells you the time. Miss April May. Wiretap. You used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I. I... Oh, shut up, Edgeworth. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Why is there a. Look at the witness's face? Uh, why is there a question mark there? Does she seem amused to you? Huh? The defense demands an answer. The... Uh, urgh. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May, shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer. And she's creepy again. It's no fair, all of you g ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? Uh, uh. <laughs> that did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. I would say she did it, but why the wiretap? Miss May, why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Answer the question next time, because I'm at seconds, very high seconds. We have. I think we have another witness next time, actually. We'll, we'll find out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. I'll leave you with this really cool. I've got a, a nice little crud. Oh, it's the it's the nice um. I've got a revelation music. Do 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 do. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.